Just got done watering my little buddy, finishing my morning movements, getting ready for a house call later today, a local house call actually. Good to see, and then Zoom's rest of the week. But something that popped in my head as I was doing my uh, morning non-negotiables and patterns, um, I was watching a young gentleman uh, do some stuff on the stairs and the way he was dressed, it looked like he was uh, trying to prepare for the environment of um, police or military of some kind. Pretty cool. Real dark, almost like utility pants. I have them, like um, SWAT pants type things. <laughs> They're just cool to hike in. And uh, he had boots on and then a dark t-shirt and then he was weighted down and he wasn't. He had all these things, he was, he was getting after it. And it inspired me to think about this topic of preparation exceeding performance. And then as it is the 50th anniversary of Tommy John surgery, and I'll be sharing more, hello, I'll be sharing more this year as they ask medical surgeons and they ask baseball analysts and they ask all these people what the cause of Tommy John surgery is and now what the latest is, is velocity and spin and then multiple variations of pitches. Uh, it's getting very close to where you you won't even be able to pitch anymore. It'll just be a, a robot pitcher, just like you can't tackle anymore and you can't do all these things. Instead of looking at the indi individuals, we're gonna look at what we can control around their lives. Medicine's been doing it and fucking everything up and it's no different in a big league sport. So, but my dad, told by nobody, and these are why I love his stories, is because he really wasn't guided by anybody other than his just own intuition, what made sense and ultimately what worked, because two questions you gotta ask about your approach to healing is does it make sense? Has to make sense to you. If you can't explain exactly what you're doing and why you're doing it, and what's in whatever you're taking in or whatever it is that you're approaching, it's not gonna work. You can't get behind it. You don't have any idea. You're doing it because somebody told you about it. You're doing it because there's some story around it. And then finally, the second question to ask, which is gonna confirm the first is, is it working? And working means works for everything. Working means actually heals. You're done. You're done healing. You're at a new level. You're completely a different person. Not you managed your symptoms with a quick fix. That made sense because they sold it to me. But is it working? I mean, it works for three months or it works for a year or it works for this time period or it works when I was 20 or it works for this person in my family, but not, it works across the board. So those two questions, but it made sense to him as he intuitively would figure this stuff out and it worked repetitively. And one of the things that he would do is when he was in a hot location like Texas, when he was pitching in Texas, on days in between his starts, he would be wearing, you know, sweatpants and these long sleeve things, and it'd be 119 on the field level because it was turf at the time. And somebody asked him, or maybe I asked him when I was a kid, and why do you wear all that stuff? Like most of the guys are wearing super, super, I don't think sleeveless or shirts off was a was an opportunity, especially with the Yankees, the way they held business. Um, but why you wear all that? What's the point of all that? And he goes, well, I figure if I practice in environments that are tougher than the game, then it'll make the game very easy. And I was like, <laughs> and I heard that story and I was like, holy shit, dad, who told you that? Well, oh, nobody, just, and so this is the thing. Even the people who are anal super analytical and need to have the measurements and need to have, they still bring in a level of feeling. And it's this whole, group of people are like no measurements you can't know any measurements your weight your levels this that because it's feeling only well sure and then feeling is absolutely there as well and there's intuitive and then you compare the two and when you actually have your shit together and can bring in measurements measurements become very very effective and then you apply those to what you're feeling and then you get to make these calibrated observations and calibrated minute little and it's absolutely perfect. Is that medicine? No, nobody's ready for that. That's the way I'm guiding people to try to get to. You could step on a fucking scale and it's not gonna affect you. And you could compare that number. You could know your hydration levels. You could know cellular stuff. You could know labs, you could know imaging. You could take as many images as you want. I would love to have all these different things to play with these different variables, but we have this camp going all measurements, this camp going all feeling 
driven and neither one is <laughs> is working we bring in both and so again back to the original point of the video is preparation needs to exceed performance the gentleman who pitched the third longest career in the history of major league baseball um understood this just by by his own feel and measurements and observations of how he would do things so that's no different than it doesn't just apply to pro sports it doesn't just apply to the military this kid training for the police or lifeguard or it doesn't apply to only 20 to 40 year olds or apply to to really aggressive ceos with neurological hacking and all it applies to every single fucking person who is alive and accounted for here to get out of bed and go to the bathroom you have to be prepared to be able to take yourself beyond the bathroom to take yourself beyond the covers the forces of the covers to take yourself beyond these places to walk as i've said to walk a mile you have to be prepared physically mentally emotionally to be able to walk four or five six miles to be able to take on a level of an exchange with another person for a extended for an uh, extended period of time you have to be able to sustain that that's like a law within the law because there's many laws and rules that we all have to apply nobody gets is, is immune to any of this stuff but then within that are other laws like preparation your preparation needs to exceed your performance and if it doesn't your body will tell you when you are reaching a point that it can no longer sustain at that level of force at that volume at that number at that time at that place on the planet and it will let you know how perfectly with symptoms and sometimes the water warms before it boils and the symptoms are very slight and they're very subtle and they're only for you and nobody else knows about it but you know these little variations and i have a video coming up again to re come back to and reaffirm and share back to with people how we don't have to freak out that the body's going to all of a sudden turn against us because it never would and any of these big things coming up these big huge injuries or these big huge labels or these big huge diagnoses that everyone's terrified of accumulating or getting all of a sudden that's boiling water and the water doesn't just boil in a second it takes a long time just like the body it'll take a long time to get to that point but it's going to let you know so um, along the way of preparing to perform, how do we do this? You have to prepare your physical tissues to be able to experience. You gotta prepare your physical tissues to take in light. You gotta prepare your physical tissues to be able to grab food, take food, crave food, chew food, pull food down into your tummy, turn it into sludge, assimilate it, bring it out, and then void it. And then clean yourself afterwards. You have to prepare to be able to have the discipline to be able to set um, a unique environment for you to rest you have to prepare the body to be able to hold whatever capacity of relationship is coming down that you desire to want that you couldn't hold before or you took too long without asking the questions you don't want to hear the answers to or did you want to it was comfortable it was safe so you have to prepare your physical tissues and through that comes the mental emotional intellectual spiritual and everything in between that's why i say training isn't what training is um it's the common denominator across the board because as long as we are here on this planet we are inundated with forces at all times no matter what till our very last breath even our last breath is a real physical it's a it's a physical expression of this last event so how long are we required to manage forces how long are we required to hold a position in space how long are we required to feel our bodies how long are we required to be accountable to our bodies till your last breath okay so then continuing to get strong every year every year every second every day every that's across the board no matter what your healing response is no matter what your label is no matter what you're trying to do that's a common denominator across the board has to be applied to your life no matter who you are hospital bed to top of a mountain feeling empowered feeling depressed doesn't matter has to be there and then part of that, preparing your physical tissues, connecting the emotional, mental, intellectual, which again, training has to take on another characteristic and bring in those traits and be able to explore those traits. And what does that even mean to you and sense your body even more? So preparation needs to exceed performance, highest level of athletics, and we're not doing it. It's embarrassing. The highest level, lowest level of athletics, sports. Uh, they dropped the ball a long time ago. So 
won't, no organization or team is gonna grasp this. So it has to be the individual, always has been, but even more so now because everyone's just got their thumbs in their ass. Um, across the board of medicine, across the board of hobbies and leisure and play, across the board with art, uh, music, painting, writing. Um, that's why we do, you know, 250 uh, practice math tests, question, or max, math questions for a 20 question test, right? Where we practice years and years and years and years for a five minute uh, symphonic uh, expression. Where we, we, we go ahead and we sharpen. It's the old Abraham Lincoln. I hate quoting people because I sound like a fucking podcaster who's interviewed so many people who doesn't have thoughts of his own or she doesn't have thoughts of his own, but Abraham Lincoln, you know, if I have to eight hours to cut down a tree, I'll sharpen the ax for seven and I'll cut for that last hour. It's brilliant. Um, and then all the while, it's not that preparation is a pause on life and then we go ahead and perform in life and we resume life. Your life is the preparation. Your life is the performance all the time, all interwoven together. Again, why I said, you don't wait to heal to then start doing the things I've, I've spoken about. I have people all the time. They will continually, and I don't know how many videos I could put out. They're like, TJ, I just didn't start with you. Uh, waited a year, waited however long, because I wasn't strong enough to start with you, or I wasn't healed enough, or I didn't want you. I had, thought I had to get out of the hospital bed, or I thought I had to get out of my, no, start right now. You are the most perfect version of yourself at any given point. It's just the body's expressing perfectly to how you've been living. So let's make sense of how you've been living. Make sense of what the body's responses are. Make sense of now what your responsibilities and where you can focus your energy and time instead of putting it out into something that has nothing to do with anything better. And you just ask yourself, are you, do you feel better by dumping into all these things or do you feel less empowered, less, less connected? And so preparation needs to exceed performance. Preparation needs to exceed performance all throughout life. Performance is life. Preparation is life. Healing is life. All interwoven, all together. Everybody different. All the rules are the same. We all got to use the same letters. We all got to use, but we all write different poems. Carving poetry and granite. We all have access to the same colors, but then the infinite of how we mix and match those colors and the hues that we choose and the strokes that we do and the mediums that we choose. We are artists in our symptoms, no matter what that looks like. We are artists in our medicine, no matter what that looks like. That's the individuality. That's why there will never be a degree or curriculum that will ever contain what the human needs or the human in, inside medicine. Not ever. Won't ever be that way. Preparation needs to exceed performance. Boom.